Thank you. Well, it's great to be here. Um, my name is Ian Magruder. I'm State Field Coordinator for Students for Barack Obama. And I'm really excited to be here with all of you. I'm really excited about this moment in particular because I feel like this is going to be a very close election, but at the same time, it feels very much within re re reach right now. Um, and it seems very possible to win this. And I say that especially because of uh, my own experience in politics. Um, I actually didn't have parents who were particularly politically involved, but I got interested at a young age. And right around the time of the Iraq War, I decided to go out and protest in San Francisco. I don't know if you have any of you were in, involved in those. Um, and of course, that didn't turn out so well. Um, but I decided to stay involved and got involved in the Howard Dean campaign. That also didn't turn out so well. Um, and in 2004, I uh, volunteered for John Kerry, tried to defeat George Bush. That didn't go so well. Uh, in 2006 election, I helped out a candidate for governor, um, tried to unseat Arnold, and of course that didn't go over so well. Um, and in this, in this campaign cycle, I uh, went to New Hampshire and canvassed in the freezing cold with minus 15 degree wind chill. And unfortunately, that didn't turn out as we hoped. And so I went to Nevada with the student campaign, and that didn't turn out so well, and decided to become a precinct captain in California, uh, which didn't turn out so well. So I went to Pennsylvania, and that also didn't turn out so well. But despite all these sad election light, uh, night losses, I think I learned a really important lesson in politics which is you can't give up. You can't lose hope. And I think this campaign really embodies that in a lot of ways. Um, Barack always says, change doesn't come easy. You have to work for it. And I think that's what I'm doing. That's what all of you are doing. That's why you're here. And ultimately, I think that's why, come November 4th, we're going to prevail. We're going to win this thing. So. Let me just tell you a little bit about the student campaign. Uh, California Students for Barack Obama is a statewide organization. We have 42 chapters now across the state. We have chapters at community colleges, at UCs, CSUs, private universities. Um, and students are getting really active and engaged and involved, and it is exciting. And our organization has a mission and a vision. Our mission is to elect Senator Barack Obama with an overwhelming majority, hopefully. And our vision is to get students involved and engaged and to get them to participate in politics actively, to learn how to be leaders, how to be organizers, and hopefully to stay involved and engaged and active even after the election. Because that's what it's going to take. And so obviously California is going to be going blue. Um, so we're making phone calls to swing states. We're sending students to Nevada. If any of you want to help fund those efforts, talk to me afterwards. Um, and we're also registering voters because we don't just want to win California by 51%. We want to win by an overwhelming majority so that when Barack Obama is elected, he will have a real mandate for change and be able to push the country forward. So let me just uh, conclude by giving a, a short story. Um, when I was in Pennsylvania, uh, as an intern for the campaign, I met a, a man named Herman, an old African-American man who'd lived in the same neighborhood in Pittsburgh for decades and decades. And Herman had a bad hip, so he couldn't canvas, but he really wanted to. And he decided to volunteer his garage as a staging location for the campaign. So volunteers were brought in and out of his garage, and he brought pastries every morning for everyone. It was incredibly gracious. and. One day after we were canvassing, Herman decided to tell us why he, was, why he felt so passionately about Barack Obama and this election. Um, and he told us that his biggest regret in life was 40 years ago when he had the chance to go to Washington and to march with Martin Luther King Jr. And he didn't do it. And he had to live with that for his whole life. And he really regretted that decision. And he felt like here was another moment in history where we have this incredible opportunity 
to change things. And that's why he was getting so involved, so engaged. And I think that's why young people are getting so involved in this election. It's because we realize that this is a unique moment right now. And we really have a chance to push things forward. So if you know any students who aren't involved in this movement yet, talk to me afterwards. It's never too late to get started. Thank you very much.